Good morning everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. We have another Ameritron AL811H here. So this one also has the grid loading resistor set up. So I'll remove those. It's cracked. Uh, customer said that tube flashed. Let me check the resistor. It looks kind of funky over here. Check the values of all four. If one of these is opened or is grossly uh, out of tolerance, they'll have to be changed and there could be damage to the filter caps. He said it's been blowing the line fuses also. So I'll check all that out. Plate choke seat with the short screw. See how it's wobbling a little bit. So I'll end up putting the longer screw and always do that. I always check the plate blocking caps to make sure they aren't cracked. One of these wires is kind of frayed a little bit, so replace that. Also this one over here, so I'll just replace all four. So I'll do the bias modification and uh, check the rest out. So you'll have to order a new set of tubes for it. Do not provide tubes. Okay, so I'll be back. I'll see you guys soon. I always check the SO239 connectors. Look at this. No connection. Super sloppy. That's the output. Input. Not as bad, but still bad. You don't ever want to put any RF amplifier, whether it's solid state or tube, into an open. Bad stuff happens. Okay, so both SO239s will have to be changed. All right, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, so grids are grounded really well. Compress the clips. Gas discharge tubes are installed. See the old grid loading resistors. Failed, an obvious failure right there. That's all taken out. Remove the MOVs. So I'm gonna put that back in. I can always uh, unsolder these from the sockets and then cut it and then strip them. So okay. I'll be back. See you soon. Hey everybody, I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. Did the bias modification. Choke is nice and secure now. Replaced the straps. Grounded the grids. You saw that underneath there. That's all done. Resecured the safety choke. Cleaned the rotary switches with deoxic gold. Changed the safety diode. Changed the SO239 connectors. Put some glue on the winding at the very top so it's not moving around. I'm just very, very thorough, very thorough. Check that resistor, it's with intolerance, it's just dirty. And uh, this thing's good to go. So, uh, six meter amplifier, uh, Saturday I'll go get the parts I need to complete the power supply, just some hardware and stuff, some carriage bolts and stuff, so stay tuned. I'm just gonna plow through some amps this week and then get on that and get that done. Um, it's going to be tricky. I'm going to have to run a line cord over to my panel, which is on the other side of the house, so <laughs> that'll be fun. Uh, the other customer dropped off a couple amps. I have more coming FedEx, but I'm trying to plow through these as quick as I can, but very, very thorough. So, let's see everything, all the old parts, the loading resistors, got the got one MOV, the old straps here. So, if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. And my website is amprepairguy.com. That's amprepairguy.com. Oh, yeah, I also changed the plate blocking caps. Put two brand new ones in. These have these little black specks on them. So, I didn't want to take a chance changed them so brand new plate blocking caps 
So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.